Infidio Records, Street Cookies, teaming up once again here at the infamous, famous, historical Arizona Vineyards. Come on in, we're checking it out today with Plan X. What it do, what it do, man. We're here at Arizona Vineyards in Nogales, AZ. Stand up, man. Drinking some sangrias with Plan X. Introduce yourselves, kids. Right. Stress? Well, I'm Stress. I'm serving to reach every single soul. So, well, I'm the pioneer of Nogales hip hop in Nogales, Arizona, and Sonora. This is my homeboy, Eddie Reynolds. Or Eddie Reynolds, Renza. my stage name is called Renza Vargas. And that's what's up, you know what I mean? You say you are the forefather of Nogales and uh, Nogales, Arizona. But why? What makes you the forefather of Nogales, bro? Because uh, I've been rapping here since maybe 86, 87. Doing shows in Nogales, Arizona, Nogales High School, Nogales, Sonora, at the plaza. We used to pack that place up, do it old school style out in the park. So we've been doing it for a long time. So what actually brought you guys together? What actually made you guys say, hey, you know what, let's get it. Let's do this uh, little collaboration between both of you guys. How did the name Plan X actually come out there? Um, I think, though, basically this thing came about after, like, a night of a lot of drinking. <laughs> a lot of drinking. And I kind of just came up with like, well, we already been through plan A, B, C. We're almost at the end of the, end of the alphabet, so why not plan X? That's what I came up with. So. Like the last plan. Man. Yeah, the last plan. So. And that's what's up, man. I mean, I, I appreciate what you guys have done because personally, when I was growing up, I was going out there and looking at your shows, you know, I was the one out there, you know, bobbing and weaving, throwing my hands up in the yeah, air, getting little, crazy and down, you know, like, yeah. and I remember Perhaps. my boy Leroy, you know, break dancing, doing his thing with his Kango hat Still and all that, it. you know what I mean? <laughs> so, I mean, you guys have been doing this since when? I mean, I mean, what actually got you guys inspired? I mean, what, what was your drive to do this? Well, we were, when, when hip-hop really exploded, we were at the bombshell of hip-hop when it really blew up with break dancing. Graffiti, and scene, um, poetry, yeah. uh, <laughs> DJing, like there was DJ battles, I don't know if they do it anymore, but back in the day you used yeah. turntables, so I don't know if kids today know what a turntable is. <laughs> yeah. A turntable is like a record player where you used to do tricks, now everybody uses CDs, they use laptops now. IPod, and these days, iPhones. you know, the art is going away, it's getting, you know, a lot of people are losing touch with the art of DJing. Yeah. A lot of people call themselves DJs or MCs just because they can rhyme or play a record or a, a tune on the on the laptop and they call themselves MCs or DJs. It's not about that. It's about being artistic. It's about art. Just okay. like the drums behind us. Now drop a little bit about that because I, I like what you touched base on, you know, that the, they're losing that aspect of the art. You know what I mean? Touch base a little bit on that. Well, it's like an art form. It's like these drums right here, right here you know, they have colors, they have prisms, they have a meaning. And today, rap is just about ABC, you know, ABC rappers, where they just rhyme one word after another, like rap, cat, hat, you know, fat. I think they're not, they're not doing, they're not doing, they're not doing other words. They're not doing metaphors, similes. You know, they gotta go back to English class and take <laughs> classes and get back to the essence of, of right, real hip hop, which which is art. And what, uh, touch base a little bit on that, Renz. I mean, I know you've been, you and Lee have been boys for quite some time now. I mean. Talk a little bit about, you know, what these new people need to be uh, writing about or maybe, you know, what can help them out lyrically. Um, I think a lot of the, the newer stuff coming out is, is okay. Um, I don't like all of it, but I think that lacks substance on the lyrics. Um, I mean, the beats are a lot better and they're a little bit more complex. And they have a little bit more variety because they like mesh with a lot of other music. But lyrically, that's where they're losing because they're going. It basically goes into a catchy, a, a catchy uh, hook, a hook, and then you kind of lose. There's no story really in it, Not us. and that's what MC is all about. It's about you know telling a story and just your life story or an experience you had or somebody else had. That's what really makes hip hop, man. They're, they're getting and, real, real lazy on the yeah, lyrics. Real lazy really on the lyrics. A lot of laziness where they just want to slur the song or pause a lot or, you know, let's say, like, you know, real short lyrics. They're only using like four words in a bar, you know, like Rick Ross. You know, sorry to say that, but Rick Ross. <laughs> <laughs> he uses four Rick bars on, on every verse. And, 
not, that's not a rap to me. Man. You know what, man? I'm really feeling this interview, man, because these, these old school cats, man, they're putting this shit down right here in this documentary, man. Like I said, we're here at Arizona Vineyards, and I want you guys to talk about this new music, this new movement that's going happening in Nogales, Arizona. Like you said, you know, there, there's a lot that's missing to it. There's that killer KO blow, you know what I mean? Yeah. That que falta. I mean, what do you got to say about this new movement that's going on down here? I'm, I'm hoping it, honestly, I'm hoping it goes all out because, like, me and Lee talk about this every time we get together to record or just to work on a song. It's like, hip-hop wasn't just the music when we were growing up. It was like a, 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 like a culture, man. Like, to me, it was like almost like a religion, dude. Because you had, you dressed a certain way. Your attitude was a certain way. There was art involved, you know, Craig. Leroy always says graffiti, you know. My homeboy Chuck Renatos, he's my, my all time, he, we were from back in the day, he's our graffiti artist here in Ogales. Hopefully we can maybe get him into this documentary, have him do some, some stuff for you guys. But it, a lot of it, the DJ, bro, like the DJ battles, man, like I I started out as a DJ. I wasn't the best, but I tried and, you know, I could do some scratches and stuff, mixes. But a lot of people, they don't do that. And I think, in order for like people to really get excited with and 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 their muscle apoyo from the people, I think we need to show all the aspects of hip hop, not just the rapping, you know, I all of it, the culture like, of the it, culture, you know, what I mean? bro, the yeah. culture, the why they dress a certain way, like everything, man. Why back in the days we used cross colors and gas yeah, exactly. and you know what I mean, Absolutely. all of that yeah. good stuff, you know what it's I mean, crazy. the BKs, the bringing it all back, you know what I mean. You know, that's what's up, you know what I mean? So what do you think about all this movement, man? Especially about these new cats that say that they're better than everybody that they were the ones that actually brought it to, brought the music, brought the movement, and that are actually making and putting Nogales on the map because honestly, I think you guys were the ones that started all this shit. Yeah, well they just gotta, you know, put effort to their music, that's all I'm saying. They gotta be more creative on their music. Not just a hook, you know. Anybody can do a hook. That's like kindergarten. Like I love you, you love me. Anybody. <laughs> I think, I think in general with shit. that question, I can honestly <laughs> say, cats that say that in hip hop, man, in a rap, dude, every good, everybody's gonna boast about themselves, man. Yeah. That's what's part of it too. Attitude. So, yeah, much I mean, I don't think a lot of people should take it like personal. Like I certainly don't take it personal if, if somebody says that he's the best, you know, in AZ or. In Santa Cruz County or wherever you're cleaning, I don't care. Just prove it on the mic. That's but what I, do. I mean, <laughs> be true to yourself. Be true to your craft. That's that's what I I want to see. Be true to yourself I'll, and your name, yeah, right? That's what's that's up. You know, that's what, that's what it needs to be. And you know what, man? Uh, I remember you guys back in the days. You guys. There weren't really any studios to work out of. I mean, you guys were in the garages like some Ooh, of us yeah. are doing, you know what I mean? Yeah, we we still were, had the tape decks back in the day. Yeah, we were worse. Uh, we were like, touch base yeah. on that a little bit. I mean, because you guys had it harder than what we do now because the technology, I'll tell you what, has exploded in the past couple of years. Yeah, it's like, but speak on that. It's like we're manual producers. We, we used to do the beats with keyboards, drum machines, turntables, sampling, looping. We didn't have what the kids today have. We recorded with, yeah. with our boys. We didn't have software. Back then, when we were coming out, we were like the only ones out there, and luckily we had a lot of good friends that were musicians, like La Merma, big ups to my I'm boy Roslowski. Ivan Roslowski, and we used to help, he used to help us out out record with his 8-track, you know, with whatever, dude, you know, we do it like with open mics, no padding, bro, we just... Whatever we could do, it was like grungy recording. Like raw beats, just Wu Tang Clan. That's what like our demos were Mexican like basically bring your, you know, your big boombox, and we're gonna record some mics. this. And some wire mics, no, no wireless wire mics. mics. Yeah, there's a trip over the microphones wrapping right around your leg. Like hey, uh, Plan X. What do we expect from you guys in the upcoming years? I mean, you guys have done so much, like in the past, I want to say 20 years, because you guys are still yeah. young in the game. You know what I yeah. mean? But do we expect different things from you guys? New music coming out? I mean, what do we actually expect from Planet? I would say right now, um, we're in really, we have this really big idea to do something that I've been wanting to do for the longest time. And what's that? Then? We're gonna have a band. Planet will be a band, like hip hop band, like a roots kind of style. Yeah. 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 Go. But we're gonna put like, like if anybody knows who go. Oso Mali is, you know who Oso Mali is, like that. We're gonna bring in a lot of different other music, but it's still music, gonna be hip hop. Metal. It's just gonna be a little bit more eclectic, our music, and change. We're gonna change it up. I mean, we're still gonna do 
once in a while our gang shit, whatever, you know, but we're, we're going to be a little bit more musical on our aspect. And Plus, you know what? That's great. Uh, touch base on that. Plus, Plus, also, we want to do a lot of featuring with everybody in Nogales. Yeah. We don't we don't hit on nobody. Yeah, you know, exactly, anybody wants to feature man. with us, ain't no problem. Like we're said, down we've to always with worked, anybody. We've always been the type of people, we work with anybody, anybody. you want to work we don't, with We us. don't hate nobody. Somebody got people with us. So now we're going to touch base a little bit about all this beef that's going on in Nogales and all these people that are hating on each other and the people that do not want to collab with each other but still saying that, you know, I'm better than you, that I run this, that I'm here, that I'm top. I mean, what do you guys got to say about that? Yeah, well, let them, you know, fight against each other, you know, let them destroy <laughs> each other. It's like uh, the, the mafia, you know, let them kill each other until the big dog stays in touch, you know, they, can, they can stay on the map. You know, yeah, yeah. With me, man, That's it's I like, see. I think it's stupid, like, when I moved back from Tucson, back here, I heard all this, like, I couldn't believe it, I mean, so there's so many few of us that do this music, and for them to, like, not want to collaborate with each other, I think it's... I think it's uh, there's a lot of pride, you know. But like I said, we're not like that, man. We work with everybody, man. Coco, cool, cool. and and you know what? That, that's great because, like I said, you guys are the old cats. You guys are the ones that started everything. You guys are actually what made hip hop hip hop in Nogales. You know what I mean? And I love that because, like I said, you guys put in the art and the culture of it all together into one. You mesh it all into yeah, one. Four elements. Right? And that's what yeah, it's up. You know, that's what's up. Right? Tell everybody that that's what it is. You know, it's true hip hop. There's yeah, four elements to the story. Yeah, four elements is DJ, graffiti, MC, and beat boying. You yeah. gotta have those four elements to be, you know, hip hop. If you consider yourself hip hop, you gotta at least know one of the four. If you guys were to say, pull out a top five list, of just your local Nogales artists, your local rappers. I mean, who would be on your list? There's a lot of uh, much respect for everybody, so I don't really have a list for them, you know, because there's so many of them that I cannot say. Durin, <laughs> it's kind of hard that one. Man. I don't know. Come on, you guys gotta put yourselves up in the top. I gotta top say two, number one, one just to go. be a dick. Plan X, but Rip I don't want to say. I mean. I give much respect to everybody, man, because everybody that really goes out there and puts in. Because I've heard, this year, man, I, I support everybody and everybody that's, uh, that I, that knows me. I always check out every cat from here that puts on a video, man. I actually check out the spot. I just don't like your ass. No. I actually go on YouTube and I'll tell you. And I'll, a lot of you cats know that I've talked to you. Que les hace falta, que les faltó, como tu. But, man, I mean. I don't. I ain't gonna put anybody out Tough there. Right. Yeah. Nah. I think everybody's in room for improvement, man. Even ourselves, man. And, that's and we've up. been doing it for a long time. And we still, we're still and we, working and we, on it. And I accept criticism, man. man, because uh, you gotta be open to it. Though, always, you know what I mean? You gotta always, be open man. to it. And well, that's what makes it better. You know what I mean? Open criticism. But at the same time, since you guys don't want to put a top list, no. let's just say, <laughs> who would you want to be listening to right now at this time? Right now, who would you have bumping in your headphones? Mm. My boys back cash, definitely. Yes, yeah, good, yeah. yeah, yeah. Us. Next. Pero, um, I, I, I personally like that young cat, um, Effie. Effie, yeah, I, yeah. I like him. I like his, I like his style. He's got the, the boy's got a lot of heart in his music. He's got a lot of heart, and that he's he's touching it, man. There's a lot of that's cats out I, there that. That's why it's kind of hard for me because we feature with so many people that I. I yeah, like Ozone man, he's I fucking amazing streets, man. I I've been, I've been, we've been right, right, right now. I've been listening to this Came one cat local. that we grew up with when we barely started out. We used to be blood. I'm one of those We used to go to shows up in Tucson, and this boy barely coming up, man. He's older than us, man. And Shug, man, from Tucson. Oh yeah, Shug. I've been listening to a lot of his stuff. It's still good, man. But like here, like I said, that cash. It's Colombiano. Forgot about Colombiano. Colombiano, you know. Um, there's a lot of, honestly, there's a lot of cats too in Mexico. I think we need to get connected with a lot more of our people from across the line and maybe have like more of a collaboration. Maybe like even we can put together a festival, man. Uh, you know, ambos modales, you know. Yo, big things to come, man. Big things to come in the future. You're hearing it from your boys, Plan X. You're hearing it from your boys, Streets. I mean, it gets dirty, it gets grimy at times, but you know what? You gotta. Look behind. You gotta look over that mountain. You know, you gotta cross that little hump. What do you guys think about you know, just 
the aspects of Nogales, you know, the artists coming up, you know, what makes, what's gonna make Nogales? What, what, what does Nogales need to do to get over that step, you know? Uh, bring it, bring hard, the evolution uh, back, bring the culture back, you know, try to get people into it, try to I, make people feel it, understand it, you know, get the young crowd especially, like junior high kids, high school kids, you know, get them back into hip hop instead of that banda crap that's getting <laughs> Let's get killed because of Banda. And all these kids are, you know, they'll shut us down because we call, we've we talked to a lot of people in the city of Nogales and then we say rap, oh, rap, sorry, we're sorry about that. They shut us down. But if it's Banda or Norteña, oh, yeah, hell, hell yeah, yeah, play. We can play at the park or wherever. But that's just what's getting people killed right now. It's not hip hop that's getting people killed. It's the Norteña. <laughs> and you know what? Corridos. The city of Nogales is a li really closed minded, man, because we yeah. tell them, hey, we want to bring some shows. And they tell them what kind of music, rap or hip hop. Is it, is it, Gangster rap. Yeah, it's a gangster rap. or, or uh, you know, um, is it tolerable for us to hear? And I'm like, you know what? It's music. Music Art. is music. So why are you guys shutting us down? You know yeah, what I mean? They shut down my homeboy Chuck the, at Ellis Street. I don't know if you've been there. They shut it all down. They, the city of Nogales didn't like it, so they took it all away. My friend um, Chuck wasted about maybe $500 on spray paint. They had they covered the whole thing down. There was other artists, I don't know their names too well, but they just shut it down. They painted it all white again, so that's my stuff, you know, that they don't support art. And, 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 and that's part of hip-hop, and that's man. part of hip-hop. You know that was mean? a mural, man. It was like art. They have permission to do it. Modern art, you know. But what I'm saying, like, as aspects, I think in order for it to really get people involved, I think we know we need to go, to go back to the streets, and when I mean streets, man, is like take it. If we gotta do a show in the fucking parque and kick the Cristianos out, nothing against the Christians, okay? <laughs> but <laughs> what I'm saying, you know, if we'll let us do a show up in La Casita, and if we have to do a show up there, we should do one, man, for free. Like, get anybody that wants to get. That would be kind of cool, man. It would be, it would be. I mean, I talked to the guys up at the smoke shop right here in Nogales, man, and they're, Damn. they're cool to, we could do one outside of the parking lot, man. And we should, I mean, we should all Saturday, get together, Sunday, you know what I mean? Before the summer ends, because the summer's gonna end, you know. A little summer bash, we yeah. back to school jam or something like that, you exactly. know what I mean? Alright, man, we're here in Dallas, Arizona with Plan X once again. Uh, you know what? You guys as young cats, man, because I know you guys are a lot younger than I am. I ain't trying to put your age out there. Now. <laughs> but I know you guys been doing it for quite some time, you know what I mean? And uh, when you guys were young, what actually got you guys inspired? I mean, what actually got you to get that pen and that notepad and, you know, start writing? Was it the poetry or was it the music aspect? Of it? I think for me, man, personally, like, I've always been intrigued about different types of music. I have a very open mind about my music. Um, I would already <laughs> listen to a lot of old school, like, uh, R&B and stuff like that. And then at the time growing up, you know, I was listening to all these, these cats come out, you know, with these fucking badass beats. And I was like, wait, I've heard that before, you know. So now, like, I got the ear, like, I don't know where, where that hook came from, where that, where that, you know, that beat came from, where that idea came from. I think for me, that was what it was. It was the beat, man, that got me. And then we put the lyrics together, man. It was like, awesome, man. Well, for me, you, for me, it was beat. The, if, you're, if you're a real MC, you gotta watch the movie Beat Street and Wild Style. <laughs> yeah, you haven't seen those two movies, you're not a real MC. <laughs> but those two movies, they blew my mind. That's where I really found out what hip hop was really about. You know, the the true essence of hip hop, the love for hip hop, not about that money shit, about making the top ten. It doesn't matter. It's about the heart. It's about poetry. It's about the essence of hip hop. So like, that's my favorite things. You know, I heard Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five, Nelly Mel on the the message. That's one of the best. If you haven't heard that song, you gotta go back and look for it, download it, and listen to it, and pay attention to that. That's real I rap. Storytelling, slick rip. Plan X. Touch base a little bit on Plan X. I want you guys throw out that name, Plan X. Like what? What it means? What it means? Yeah, the symbol. You know, what's the symbol? Planet. It was, like, I wanted at first it was called Planet X, like the, <laughs> the red planet in outer space. Because we're out there, and we're not. Yeah, we, we, don't need, we don't need to get high. We don't need to get drunk to be out there. We are out there naturally high. And we're crazy. Yeah, we've never. Been <laughs> Sorry about that. We're really crazy, man. We're in the mind. We're we're out there, man. So it started from Planet X, but then he said, Nah, fuck that. Let's call it Planet X. So we yeah. stay with Planet X, the last plan. Yeah, that's how it started. Yeah. It's out there, man. For, I think for me, it's just like seriously. I, one thing I'm gonna stress out out of all this interview, man, is you gotta love what you do, man. And this is I have a regular job, and I was like everybody else. Everybody. I don't. I'm not a millionaire. I ain't wearing platinum chains or anything. 
But I'm gonna tell you, my love, what makes, what keeps me going every day, is when I, I can do something, when I can write something, when I can be part of this, this thing, this culture. And I think a lot of cats, they do it for the wrong reasons. They do it more like for the money, and for the women, and for the fame. And it's not all about that, man. It's not. But uh, from what I see, I see a lot of people don't even have it. You know what exactly. I mean? So well, yeah. what are they rapping about? Even the, exactly. even the famous so like, cats, even the ones in the top ten are like that. I'm sorry to say that, but even the like Tiger and those people, I'm sorry to say, but you need to get back and work your lyrics, man. I'm sorry about the sound. I know. But what do you got to say? Sued again. But what do you got to say about you know some of that music that's going on right here about these cats actually rapping about? You know, I got this. I do that. I got this. Mm, just I gotta say, be real, be streets. You know, be yeah. real, man. You know, just I think rap you, about what you really know, not yeah, about what about you don't have. Your experiences in yeah, life. Experience, not about what you don't have. About I got a Rolls Royce. Just about it. Yes. But I mean, yeah. what do you guys? You know, like I said, I, I really want to know because a lot of cats, these new cats, man, especially me, man. You know, we grew up listening to you guys. We grew up listening to all that hip hop culture. I feel, in, in my personal experience, that it has gone away. You know, from all those aspects. It's because they left the streets, man. We're mainstream. The the records company took over the image. Channel was it the channel? Was it Clear Channel? That's the Clear one. Channel. <laughs> Clear Channel. Lee, we're gonna get sued, man. Throw out some big names, <laughs> yeah. man. Clear Channel ruined hip hop, man. I'm sorry to tell you, but Clear Channel just. I don't know who ruined it, but I hip hop, man. I think like anything, <laughs> I think like anything, man. Hardcore, everything man. Everything starts from a certain good. movement. It's good. In the and then, end, that's how bad it is. Know, it's the supply and demand, I guess. Nah, they just stop sell outs, sell outs, man. Just money is about. But I think, I think, man. I think honestly, I mean, money. There's still some really good MCs out there, um, but I think they need to go back to, you know, back to basics, man. Are you talking about MCs from the gas? No, that is everywhere, bro. What Universal. kind of MCs are you trying to say that need to go back to? Like In commercials, man. Sorry, to say. And what? Commercial rappers. Yeah. Rappers. Well, what kind of rappers think they need? What kind of what names do you think like, those people need to go back out there? Pitbull. No, Drake. besides that, I'm talking about <laughs> the, uh, the Nogales rappers. <laughs> I'm talking about the Nogales rappers. You know what I mean? It's uh, documentary. That's why we're doing all this right I, now. You know what I mean? Know, man, like I, I'm not gonna point names, <laughs> but I think honestly, you just you gotta be true to yourself, man. If, if you think the song's way too wishy-washy, too easy, man, you didn't think you worked too hard on it, you probably sold out. That's the way I see it. <laughs> if you gotta work on it for a couple days, go for it, man. That's the way I see it. How many sold out yeah, rappers? Don't let the song just be a hook. Don't let it just be a hook. Man. Yeah. Make it be a rap, not a hook. Because everybody yeah. these days are making hooks like Pitbull. All he does is hooks now, man. And he's getting rich off of that. I don't blame him, but you know. He does a lot of remix. remix. Yeah, remixes. All right, well, how many rappers and MCs do you think in Nogales have actually sold out? Right now, not yet. I don't think, I don't think so. But, they, but there's a few trying, maybe. <laughs> They're trying, but they haven't done it. <laughs> My old cats are scared to say names, man. But that's why we're doing this, man. It's a documentary. You know what I mean? Because maybe if it's with Link Street rappers, maybe if it's with the like, real, the ones that are supposed to be the the overseers of hip hop. They're the underseers. They're the ones that go take hip hop to the grave. I'm sorry to say that, but they're going to. These new cats that are on the charts, they're the ones that are going to kill hip hop. They're going to murder it. I'm sorry to say that, but one of these days it's going to be like rock and roll. Hip hop's going to be dead because of their fault, not our fault. It's been a pleasure kicking in with you guys, man. Uh, drinking some sangrias, you know, that's what's up at the Arizona Vineyards in Nogales AZ. You know what I mean? But this part of the show is rep yourself. So, you know what, Leroy and Plan X, rep yourself to the camera. Tell everybody where they can find your music. Tell everybody, you know, where you can be showcased. Well, you can find us on ReverbNation.com as Plan X in capital letters. Yeah, we, you can could, uh, could hit up any of us on Facebook. I'm under uh, Renza Vargas. Uh, I'm usually the one that's on there most of the time. Cause I'm a little Facebook junkie, <laughs> well, like everybody, I'm not, you know. I'm not. Uh, I'm too old school for my boy, that. Man. My boy Lee, you know. Too old school. Man. <laughs> Lee, you'll, Lee, you'll find him on the street. But, the street on cell phone. Yeah, get, get the number, get the hookup. Yeah. All right, all That's right. But uh, basically, I want you guys to actually throw out some of your music out there. You know, one of, one of the eye-catching tunes that you guys have out there. Uh, right now, it's 109, and how many MCs? Yeah, definitely. Right those now. are one of our, our newest hits right now that we, we put out. Um, they're pretty like kind of in your face stuff, you know. But yeah, wake people up. 
How about some of your old school stuff? What kind of the old school stuff that you want the young people to start listening to uh, right now? I Am Hip Hop is a good one. I, mean, I Am find Hip Hop. It, I Am Hip Hop. That's it's all, those, all those tracks are on there. I mean, uh, get on Reverb. Uh, just look for us, like I say, Plan X. And you can find us and you can hear all, this, all our tracks on there. No, no problem. Also, let's get freaky. I forgot about that one. <laughs> that's hey, one. that's the that that's a jam right there, man. That's a jam right Girls there. Girls love that one. Man. Any shout outs that you guys want to give to the camera and to the folks out there in the nation? I just want to give shout outs to all my boys in Nogales putting in work in this thing we call culture hip hop, baby. Hip hop. Yeah. Peace.